we actually uh, struggled to have our first baby um, with, I'm sure, with two miscarriages, um, which kind of lends to the whole story. So you find out that you're having triplets, and soon after, it just goes into this whole regimen of eating, you know, thousands of calories a day to make sure you're giving your body enough nutrients to grow these three babies. During this process, part of it is every week you go in, and we would be in the ultrasound room for, I mean, I, it felt like hours every week, over an hour, because she's had to measure every single body part of every single child. So, it that time period compared to the week before, um, baby B at that point hadn't progressed at the same rate as the other two. He just wasn't doing as well. It was just time for them all to come out. When one isn't doing as well, they all come out. There were 25 some people, I'm not even sure the number, but there were uh, at least five uh, MDs in there and the magnitude of it hit me. That they believe there needs to be this many medical professionals in one room to make sure that everyone in my family leaves this room alive. Those moments were really emotionally trying to watch her needing attention and then our three children needing attention and her not being able to be there to be a part of that. So it was, it was something else. There is nothing natural about having a child and having to leave it. And these nurses and neonatologists and uh, the whole team, that they were there as much on an emotional level as a medical professional level. These nurses would just walk around and just hold and comfort these babies like they were their own, you know? I mean, that's hard to do day in and day out. Sacred Heart Children's Hospital is a tertiary care center, referral center, and we do deliver and take care of the babies that are born here, but we get referrals from other communities also. And if we weren't here, then uh, babies would have to either go to Portland or Seattle for care. Taking care of um, the families and knowing that we've helped them navigate this difficult time is very satisfying. You not only know that your children are receiving the best medical attention possible, but it's being done with care that we didn't even know was possible. We're so fortunate here in Spokane and the surrounding Spokane areas to have this resource of the Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. You see the nursing staff they, they truly fall in love with these children. Some of them don't have parents that were, have the ability. Some of the parents, there's a lot of parents that aren't around a lot. There's a lot of babies that are there and the only love that these children are getting is from these nurses and doctors. Donating to the children's hospital is taking care of these families at a time that they really need it. The staff here the Children's Hospital at Sacred Heart, it blows your mind because they're caring for these children and loving them like they're their own babies. Thank God that we have a place like this where they can come and they're cared for and they have these amazing doctors and nurses and staff to care for them because who knows where they would be.